Okay. Oh, it's time to do some painting. Time to do some painting. La -da 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 -da. Where are we? Making sure everything is working correctly. I certainly hope this live stream is better than the last live stream. Okay. All right, good. Sound check is good. That's cool. Pull that plug. All right, okay, so this is just me hanging out. If you want to talk about Dungeons and Dragons, by all means. Um, this is sort of my rest day. So I just basically paint for a little while. And, um, yeah, chat. So, hi, welcome to How to D&D. My name is Fred Wheeler, and today I am going to paint a barmaid. This is the Deep Cuts barmaid that uh, you can buy from Wizards of, well, WizKids, I believe it's WizKids, their particular miniature line. And um, I spotted this, like the idea. I mean, you, whether you call it a, a barmaid or a bartender, it's up to you. But I honestly thought it felt like it was a, a very useful miniature to have. Although, if there's lots of battles happening in the tavern, I suppose that could be a problem too. I am quite happy to chat along with you about anything really, um, but Dungeons and Dragons would make sense because that's what my channel is all about. Other than that, doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'll just pull up the screen and get rid of that miniature. That was just to get my scale sorted out. That was just to make sure that it was focused and all. I, what I've done is I have tried to make sure I've zoomed in as much as I possibly can. And of course, it's not going to stay still because it's on a rolly bit, but we'll sort that out in a second. Um, there we go. There it is. And now my plan is to go with green. So um, I saw somebody else's paint design and I thought I really liked it. So I'm aiming for this. This is what I would like it to look like. I don't think it'll necessarily look like that, but that's what my aim is. Um, so I'm going to go with green, white. I'm going to do the flesh, we'll probably do the flesh first, um, go with red and then turn into orange later, and then tidy up with the yellow gold finish and the mug. Um, whether I get it all done today, who knows, I doubt it. Uh, usually I'm pretty slow, but it will certainly start the process. And uh, let's see how we go. All right. Okay, that's me. And now let's get my paint going. And I'm going to go with the flesh. So I make good, sure I get a good shape first, otherwise for sure it won't work out. It seems a little bit reversed, I don't know why that is, that's strange. Um, so we'll do a little bit of flesh, I'll get the flesh on first because I'm going to have to build that up a little bit. And just a little bit of that. And then grab the larger brush, not the fine brush to start with. And then... Mm, feel like it's going to be a, um, this is very watery this stuff, so I don't think I'm going to need to water it down. If you guys find that the sound, the video quality is um, problematic, you just need to let me know in the chat, okay? It's probably the simplest way. It is reversed. I don't know why it's reversed, but it is. Okay, let's just start off with just getting the flesh colour on. It's not really going to go on very well. I should have not painted it black. I feel like that was a big mistake on my part. Should have gone with uh, a white finish. Yeah, see this this is going to be really problematic as it is so light, this colour. I'm going to have to apply lots and lots of coats before I get it built up. In fact, I might have to go back to white to, uh, to get it to work, to get the flesh going. How's it going, Aaron? Hello! Um, you guys need to remind me when I take the miniature out of the screen because you know how I like to do that quite often. Um, it's not my intention. How's it going, Jeff? So just a rough sort of... Let's see if I can get it underneath that bit there. Oh man, I just... If, blimey. This is the problem when you, you you start trying to paint miniatures. When you were younger, it was fine, but now your hands not so steady, your eyes are stuffed, and even with glasses, it makes everything just super difficult. Uh, what was that, um, Aaron? Where is the Earth Elemental you made? Ah, it has created a few problems as it happens. <laughs> I, I don't want to go into it in too much detail, but basically. I have a lot of cracks. 
I'm going to have to do more work on it for it to work. It will come back as a painting job at some point, but um, since I'm probably going to use the earth elemental a lot less, and I'm probably going to use the smaller miniatures a lot more, I thought painting them first would be a good idea. Um, and then we get the hand on here. Let's see, this is this is what I don't like about um, painting flesh. There's always so many coats involved to get it right. And I can see right now that I am definitely going to have to backpedal on the concept of getting it all done in one shot because that ain't going to happen. But it will happen. I will do the Earth Elemental. And let's apply a bit more. It's just so watery. Got to be careful that it actually dries properly too. Hi Matthew, painting time, yes. I just got my bard done recently. Uh, I got so many to do, former Warhammer painter. Mate, I, I was a Warhammer painter too, I know what you're talking about. And uh, there's no end, in the, I think in the end I just gave miniatures away. Um, and uh, to my brother, to my mum, she sent them to school, the kids painted them instead of me. It was just a sucking the, the money out of me. I could never even afford to play that game now. It would be just a joke. You, you, just, you need to be so wealthy. Uh, <laughs> it is just not the case anymore for me. Uh, Aaron, been working hard on my tavern for my live stream game. Oh, cool. I haven't really had a chance to check up on your channel that much. But then again, um, the internet has been playing dicky birds with me recently. <laughs> it's just like... If anything could go wrong, it has gone wrong. And I still haven't got fiber yet. And I know it's not September, but it's the last month of um, August in New Zealand. For those of you who are unaware, I am in the future. Um, and when the rest of you catch up, <laughs> I'm, I'm not being trying to me and I'm, I am being a bit of an ass. So yeah, just tell me if I am, because I know I am. All right, so that looks utterly terrible. But I'm going to keep applying it until we get a little bit more uh, fleshy going on. You got your audio fixed, um, Aaron? Oh, that's good. Audio is the biggest problem. I'm still struggling with my audio because I'm in a little itty bitty office. Uh, and it's. If I were to hire an office this size, it would cost me about $100 a week. And. That, that equates to quite a lot. Thank God I have enough room in my house that I can get away with not doing that. Otherwise, that wouldn't be able to happen. Because I was doing all of my stuff in my lounge. Which, as you do, you do. And you just got your third camera. Ooh. Yes, Smash Bro 99, I'm back. Yeah. I think a lot of people who saw that, uh, that, that video um, with Arnold Schwarzenegger and D&D &D logo and then... I'm back. Uh, we're expecting something completely different. Um, feel a little bit guilty about that. I would like to warn all of you who are watching my live streams and my videos that I have um, a better state of mind than I've had in a long time, which means I am likely to be extremely naughty. Uh, so if you see videos that seem like they might be advice videos, and they have really sort of um, clickbaity titles on them. It's probably me just having a bit of a joke, okay? So don't take it like I've gone and lost my mind and I've had an issue with YouTube or um, it is just that I've just become a little bit more playful and I just can't help myself with some of the videos that I see popping up every once in a while. My instinct is not to go and make my own video about that topic. It's to poke fun at it. Um, as a few of you might know, even though I do a lot of advice, there are certain things I don't like giving advice on, and I just can't help myself. There's a whole lot of things I would just love to do, and I, I have already um, planned out their titles and their subjects, and yes. So just bear in mind, if you see a whole bunch of stuff in the next week or so, and it seems a little bit out there it's just me being a bit playful okay <laughs> oh gosh we'll see how how the subscriber base works after that one um jeff 
what brand of paints do you use? I use uh, Vali, um, Valio. Ah, uh, Valio. I mean, I can't even pronounce it. I use the same. I'm using the same. I don't often like using the Citadel paints. Um, Valio, basin. Valio. God, if I, do I even get it pronounced right? I don't know. Basically, I find they're thinner, and my brother swears by them. And so I trust my brother because he is vastly better at this sort of thing than I am. It's just one of those things, right? It's weird, I got him started into the um, hobby and he used to see my stuff and then he's, he's just leaps and bounds beyond me now. It's funny how these things work out. But I'm glad because it's held, his, held him together almost all through um, out the, his life whenever he's had a rough period and there's been quite a few as it happens all right so I'm gonna keep up with the chat don't I I'm falling behind falling behind what have we got here uh, Matthew Matthew nope have you used or seen campaign points I just made my first order no I haven't um, I don't know what to say about campaign coins I don't what what do would I need them are they necessary um, I just can't see a rationale behind using them that would be strong enough to warrant me going and getting them. Not to say that you shouldn't go and use them, mate, because, you know, it's up to you, it's your money. Um, I just don't see any point in doing it myself. Just stay still, and I'm just putting it down, I'm getting some green now. Vallejo, Vallejo, man, I'm just shocking. I, I need to do a video on my absolutely appalling ability to pronounce anything. I struggle with the English language, and yet I'm trying to use it right now. <laughs> uh, right, what else have we got here? And Aaron, what have we got here? Seen them, but never used them, the campaign coins. All right. Let's get some... I'm doing a shake. I'm doing a shake. I'm doing the shake, 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 shake. Shake, 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 shake. How long am I going on this live stream? It is probably going to be an hour. That'll be about it. I don't think I'm going to go any longer than that. I can always come back. It's always next week, right? <laughs> That's the hope. <laughs> oh, there's my green. And I'm going to apply my green fairly aggressively. I feel like that's the best way to go. So we'll go aggressive. And I'm still not entirely sure how aggressive, but... Yeah, this is not working for me. This is um, this is just going to take way too long. There, this this what am I doing, mate? I have no idea what I'm doing. No idea. Let's get rid of this. Blah 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 blah. blah. Uh, do, 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 do. What have we got here? Looking at the chat as I'm painting, I've I've set up myself a little bit differently. For those of you who are unaware, um, I usually had my head pointing in all sorts of different directions, trying to make things work, and it did not help. So I've I've adjusted things. Grab a new new one. Uh, get a bigger brush, and this is a lot thicker. And we're going to spread it. I do have a wash, so I don't know why I'm worrying about getting the paint on. I and mean, just get the paint on for it. Just just flick that baby on. Make it happen. Flick it, flick it, flick it. And don't flick it too much. The paint goes everywhere, and it's a problem. La -da 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 -da. And try not to get into the area where it's supposed to be white rather than green. I am... Man, I am so bad at painting. It's like painting blind. Maybe I should just have a blindfold and just do a video and see. Blind painting. See what it's like. Old fart tries to paint miniature. Yeah. Okay. Um, dun, 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 never used them. Dun, 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 dun. I tend to try and craft everything myself. This is what Aaron's got. Just weathered paper and wax seal some letters for my. Yeah. Well, why not? I don't think you need to go get carried away with the, the player um, handouts and bits and pieces. It really depends on what your income's like and what you want to do. Smash Bro 99, nothing wrong with that, can't wait to see him laugh out loud. Right, well, if you if you like the idea of seeing some um, silliness on my part, the problem is, I'm not the sort of person who's laugh out loud funny. 
I'm dry. My sense of humour is dry. So dry sometimes it's even brittle. Uh, which can often mean that it's not very funny. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, there we go. I, I feel like the green is going on. Although it doesn't require me a lot of um, skill to get it to, to work right. Vallejo. Vallejo. Man, I really... Every time I... You guys are going to have to post that up every single time. Can you jump into my live stream every single time, um, Matthew? Just make sure that I get the pronunciation right. Okay, let's, uh, let's deal with the top half. And... I'm being really rough, so if you were expecting, you know, skillful painting on my part, poor, yeah, oh, you're in the wrong place, mate, you're in the wrong place, that's just, heck, I have enough trouble trying to get it in the space I want it to be, I'm trying to keep it on the camera, or the camera on it, one of those, yeah, there we go. And of course, getting close to the section with the flesh, which I don't really want to turn her into the Hulk, so let's just be careful. Way too fiddly. Way too fiddly for me. What was I thinking? Stick to, to, to painting trees that are brown, or um, treasure chests that are brown. Just everything that's brown. Dry brushing, yeah. Blanco, how, how are you doing? I really wanted to chat with you um, as it happens because I saw your video about um, YouTube giving you a hard time and I was thinking, you know, your view account has actually not gone down. You do, I mean, I've got a bigger subscriber base, but you get more views than I do. And I was just wondering what was going on. For those of you who do not know about Blanco, and I'm sure all of you do, Blanco does videos on uh, miniatures basically painting miniatures much better at painting miniatures than I am and you should absolutely go and watch his live streams when he decides to actually put them up and you should certainly watch every single video that he does because they're worth it of course unless you are in the same country as Blanco you might find you know if you're in uh, other parts of the world some of these things that you you see you can't get I to totally get that but I'm sure one day Blanco will get into the uh, into the making miniatures and you'll be able to see how that happens. Because I know he can do it. I know he has. Uh. Alright, let's get rid of that. The green is sort of going on. Loosely. Yeah, yeah man, I'm, I'm not that good at uh, a dry brush. Aaron, what do you got here? Uh, Matthew, nope. I built my player's house. Ooh, the Hunting Lodge. Horde of the Dragon Queen using styrofoam. Cool, man. Washers and bottle talent. Yeah. <laughs> washers, I do have some washers. I've got one that supposedly will cover just about everything. If I tried to paint my minis blind, they'd uh, look nicer. Smash bro. Mate, I think mine would probably too. Yeah, blind is probably the answer to me. Blanco, I'm considering starting a huge crafting project with one of those huge mega block pirate ships. Ooh, yes, why not? Okay, where, where am I? I'm thinking white. So, state, if it moves, I apologize, but it just, that's what it wants to do. It's rolling around. Stay, stay. All right, where's my, my white? Let's see if we can get the white on. Just to find a location where white would be appropriate. There doesn't seem to be one. <laughs> shake it, shake it, shake it. Uh, what's that? Should be playing Horde of the Crag Dragon Queen soon. I'll have to check out the lodge. Yeah, why not? Check out the lodge. Did you put the lodge up on the um, How to D and D Facebook group, mate? I can't remember. But I know you put a whole bunch of things up there. Uh, Vel Slay O. Well, Slago? Yeah, Vel Slago. I'm, I can pronounce that. That's easy for me. Thank you very much. Great improvement. Uh, <laughs> uh, Blanco, I'm taking improv classes so people start laughing with me rather than at me. <laughs> oh man, you're really giving yourself a hard time. 
What's the deal, man? What's been going on? <laughs> oh, dear. Ah, oh, just this br these bristles are just not stiff enough to get me where I want to be, and as a result, it's just yeah. Ah, oh. shocker. I should just put. Come and watch me make a mess with miniatures. Oh, I'm about to give up on this brother arm, um, this this brush for this particular purpose. It's just not going to work. It's um, no, no. Forget it. That brush isn't going to work. It just looks awful. It looks awful on the screen. It looks awful in purpose. Trust me, it looks just as bad when it's not on the screen. And real life looks bad. But then again, my eyes aren't that good either. So. Uh, Aaron, what do you got here? I would list a couple of channels that may help crafting, but don't want to do that on Fred's stream. Oh, you don't want to do that on my stream, man? Really? Okay. Rattle them off, Aaron. Fire them off. I don't care, man. I, uh, this is my day off. I, not, I don't really mind, and I do talk about other channels as it happens quite often in my own streams. I have had an opportunity to watch a few recently, which has been nice. It's kind of um, hard to find the time sometimes. So, list them. Go for it. Bit of detail. Why? Why? What's the deal with them? Now, I've, if you look at my uh, subscriber for this channel um, list, it is massive. I have listed all sorts of things. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. I don't know what I'm, I'm missing stuff. I've got to keep up with the chat now. Uh, a couple of channels, blah, 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 blah. Aaron, I think I posted some of the pictures of the house on Fred's Facebook group page. Yeah, it won't be my personal Facebook page. It'll be the How to D and D Facebook um, page. And for those of you who spot my name and recognise me on Facebook and decide to send me a set friend request, uh, I'm probably not going to accept them. Okay. Otherwise, when I die, um, and it looks like I have hundreds and hundreds of friends and they're all on Facebook but I've never actually met you it doesn't really sort of work um, but you know hang around long enough and that might change so yeah I need to have a conversation uh, a regular conversation which indicates to me that you know there is some basis for a friendship rather than just accepting all of those requests but by all means join the how to D&D Facebook group that's what that's for so you can still communicate with me and see what's going on and I don't really use my personal Facebook uh, page anyway that much because it's the only reason I use Facebook is because of Dungeons and Dragons and that's it uh, oh banker views have plummeted even though my subs went up do you know why that is I'm gonna to explain to you what's going on they are messing around with the ads if you noticed the ads now when they list them, the poor buggers have got to deal with two ads. They're still skippable, but they're dealing with two ads. So one plays directly after the other, unless they skip them. So when people see that, rather than watching through the first ad, which what they would have done in the past, and just accepted that, they just get shitey about the whole thing, which I totally understand. And they, as soon as it's skippable, they skip it. They don't worry about you know the first 15 or um, 30 second uh, ad playing out completely so that the channel gets the benefit of that they just skip right past it that's my view and just because they've stacked two video um, two ads right after each other it's a stupid thing to do it annoys me I have no doubt that it annoys a lot of other people and that'll probably be what's going on also too YouTube has been mucking around with the idea of having non skippable ads that's going to have an effect They've done a whole lot of experiments recently, and um, live stream, mate. You every time you do content, and you're doing something for related to Dungeons and Dragons, live stream that sucker. I know you feel like that's going to degrade your channel in some way sometimes because the quality is hard to maintain while live streaming, but don't worry about it because um, yeah, YouTube promotes you if you you do lots of videos. It's 
half the reason why I live stream all the time. I watch, I watch the numbers and the subscribers jump up, but the actual view count doesn't change very much. Uh, thank you. I'm working on using less metadata. No, keep using your metadata, man. You know, fill out your tags, fill out your, your descriptions. It's all good stuff. Uh, doodle, doodle, doodle. What am I doing next? I'm thinking I need to go to a different color. I've done the white. I'm going to grab a little bit of black and just fix up the top section. Is that black? No, that's oily steel. That is not what I'm looking for. Uh, I'm still going to make sure I shake it hard enough, otherwise it doesn't mix properly. Yeah, post on Twitter, tag me, tag somebody, anybody. All right, here's a little bit of black. Just the top of the tank, it isn't quite coloured in, so I'm going to do that now. So if you can't see me painting it, it's because I need to be able to see it myself. Well, I think that did it. <laughs> that was simple. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing, man. I'm putting white. I'm trying to paint the the wrap around. What is it? It's like a. Oh, for the life of me, now I can't understand what I um, what I was going to say. It's it's the apron. The apron's getting going to go white. That's that's the that's the plan. I want the apron white. So I'm doing that. I'm going to grab some white again because I feel like the flesh is going to take way too long to come through. I should have painted it white to begin with, and I wouldn't have had this problem. Uh, paint seems to, way too bright to highlight the green dress. Yeah, well the white will will get down. I mean that's just the first first attempt it'll get uh, it'll get sorted out it'll get sorted out okay well next I'm gonna go and go to the gym before it closes yeah absolutely I'll see you later Blanco thank you for showing up mate uh, styrofoam crafting black magic craft yes yes he's I've subscribed to him I know him I know the uh, the guy because I watch his stuff I don't know him personally if that's what you're wondering Okay, you two later, he's off. All right, so let's make sure I've, if I scroll down, I scrolled up, I scrolled down later, Aaron's, yeah, what have we got here? He makes templates and good stuff for making ships and buildings and dice rollers. Yes, he does. He does a pretty good job. All right, so I'm going to try to mix a little bit of white into this. I don't know how successful that's going to be, but we'll see how we go. And we're just going to get... It's just going to be too hard to paint the flesh if the white is going on, if the black is there, I mean. So we are thinning paint and applying. Oh, oh that just looks terrible now. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to take some of that paint off, it just looks it's certainly got a white, white here. <laughs> Come back to you. <clears throat> yes, the apron. Yes, that's why it's white. And see, this is this is the problem of with old farts trying to paint when they should have given up on it. You need good eyes, a steady hand and good eyes, of which I have neither. <laughs> right, okay. So now let us try to get some of that paint out of there. Feel like the disaster has already begun. Yes, the paint job does not look good. No, no, it does not look good. You're right. 
absolutely it's looking terrible <laughs> it will it will get better just just give me time you know painting miniatures that are women are always the hardest always struggle with them the most and I've always had to spend the more most time on them just because they are so difficult okay um, this oh that's way too much water I'm just gonna oh, pardon me stay still if it rolls it's rolling again okay <laughs> Aaron uh, post those pics when you tag on Twitter can't access the Facebook from work fair enough might be worth picking up a games workshop again a games workshop painting handle $12 and holds your model in place so it doesn't roll around yeah blue tag well yes I've blue tagged it to a container but of course it's round so it rolls but I think I just a block of wood would probably be cheaper than twelve dollars. Um, flesh shade from Games Workshop, really good skin color. Right, let's see. Let's grab the white again and see if we can't tackle that apron a little bit more. For those of you, that was uh, me holding the paintbrush in my mouth while I tried to flick some buttons. Very exciting. Uh, you guys must have um, think, thought you were showing up for something far more entertaining than this. You're sadly mistaken. It is just me mucking around. This is my, my Sunday, which is actually Friday. I know that makes no sense. Uh, this is the end of my weekend, so as of tomorrow, it's back to work. <sighs> oh, oh well. The fun, I get to sell more retail items. Hardware. Then at least I don't have to sell plumbing now. God, I do not like selling plumbing. What is it about people who want to bring their toilet seat into the shop to check the size? It's not the way to do it. Get your phone, take a photo and some measurements. Don't bring your, and they bring the toilet seat without cleaning it. They do not clean the toilet seat. Uh, okay, all right, so that brush is starting to go funny on me. So I feel like the, um, oh, sorry guys. You, you, you're looking at the other side. Well, I'm, see, I have to see, this is the problem. If if the uh, camera could be attached to my head, you'd be able to see a lot more because I'm looking at the detail that I'm painting and you guys get the back end because the camera's pointing from the other side. Ah, oh, dear. Right, so where's the... There, there it is. There, oh, come here. That's good. That's... This is not the smallest brush I have, so I do have a smaller brush. It's just I don't know that it's necessarily going to make any difference at this present time. Not until I've at least put most of it on. Michael Sharp, how's it going? Dry brushes are in a series of increasing lighter colors and a great way to make calm cloth look realistic. Yeah, my brother tells me that uh, dry brushing is an old technique, Fred, and that I should be using wet layering. I don't know how to do wet layering. Yes, it is and totally gross. Bring your toilet seat in. I have been told that somebody in fact brought their entire toilet. They did not clean it into the shop. I haven't been around when it took place, but I've seen a toilet system. That's the thing that flushes the water, right? They did not clean it. Still had the the stuff on it. Still had the urine and the the yay shite, shitey stuff on it, still there. And they thought that was a good idea. Oh my god. So when you see somebody selling hardware and they're in the plumbing aisle, you need to go up and say, I'm so sorry for you. You need to get another job as soon as possible. Is there any way I can help you? <laughs> okay, because it is it is awful. I have no, no doubt. I'd like to think that it's different around the world, but I suspect that everywhere it's like that. 
Okay, well, that brush is not going to cut it. We're going to have to go smaller. Right now, all of the all that you're getting from your this apron is it just looks white. Okay, so if you're expecting more, no, not just yet. Uh, brush over there. Ah. Stop rolling. There you go. Got my little. This is my itty bitty brush. This is supposed to be able to get at the really tricky bits, which it may or may not. Paige, how's it going? How are you doing? Welcome to my um, my little madness. Okay, all right. So let's. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, definitely, hand control problems and eye control and can't see everything because I need to turn the miniature around to be able to see what I'm doing. Eh. All right, and that's starting to splay, so I'm gonna wash it out. Michael, Michael Sharp, are you f Kiora? I didn't know you were from New Zealand. I, I know everybody else probably knows I'm from New Zealand. <laughs> I certainly hope so. I have been for some time. Um, doo -doo 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 page, really? That's gross talking about the toilet seats. Yes, I'll stop. I'll stop talking about toilet seats. <laughs> um, Wet layering gives a sharper, cleaner look. Dry brushing gives a uh, grizzled, grittier look. Yep. It's also a lot simpler to do. It is much easier to pull off compared to anything else. My brother showed me what I was required to do with the, the layering, and I was like, oh yeah, you think I can do that? And he's like, Fred, you used to be able to do it. You can do it now. And I was like, no, no, that's not going to happen. All right. So... Let us, let us, let us, oh, it's, I'm just going to let it roll. If it rolls out of the screen, I do apologize. Lego Lake, yes, it's a three by, a four by three screen. I don't know how to get it all the way up to the sides. Every time I hook up my um, Logitech Brio webcam, it gives me this size. I have tried to find a setting to change it, and I have no idea how to do that. Uh... There doesn't appear to be any way to do it, in fact. It's very frustrating. So if you are finding it frustrating and annoying, trust me, you're, you, you, I feel it. I feel it. I know just how frustrating it is. Paige, okay, I'm uh, about to have lunch. I'm in New Zealand. Oh, cool. Got some hot noodles cooking. So this is a great conversation. Laugh out loud. Well, okay. Got to stop talking about that sort of stuff then, Paige. If you're eating food and I'm talking about that sort of thing, you need to stop. I did say, I did warn people at the very beginning that I was likely to be a little bit naughty with the topics that I talk about. That's kind of tame compared to what's likely to come out of my mouth later on. Probably not today. Maybe today. Who knows? Okay. All right. Let's grab this miniature again and we're going to tackle the head so that at the end of this, even if it's not completely finished painted, the paint job's not finished, it will look like I've at least put paint everywhere. <laughs> Does that make sense? I don't know. Does that make sense? Uh, let's just tackle it here. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna just stroke it. Just stro no, wow. Yeah, whatever. This is why people went with washes, right? Because trying to get every all the paint we wanted and not into the lower recesses and keep it on the outside is just impossible. Oh, pardon me. Now I'm burping. I haven't been eating. I'm just a disgusting person. Oh. Look at this. Isn't this super exciting? No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. Not at all. Um, alt, then adjust the screen on the program. Oh, 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 Aaron. Or go back to what? What do I have to do? Alt, then adjust the screen on the program. So when I go into OBS, I have to press the Alt button and then adjust the screen on a program. Mate, if it's as simple as that, that is going to make a big difference. 
I wish they had provided like a, a manual with that sort of information on it because that would have been super helpful. <laughs> I've, I've been, I looked up on the internet, tried to find out how to adjust it, couldn't find it anywhere. And I was like, ah, no, how come everybody else can do it, but I can't. How's it going, Darren? You made it this time. Last time you showed up just at the end and I had, didn't even have a chance to respond because I'd already turned off the, uh, the live stream. I saw your co comment come through and I was like, oh dear, whoops. It's not a big hassle because I'm on, online all the time. I'm like a, a nasty infection that just won't go away. You have to put up every day. It's almost like um, brushing your teeth, right? It's guaranteed to be another video from Fred or a live stream. Do, 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 do. Aaron, it's an alt or control, but brings up an adjustment line for you to side to side to what you want to show on screen. All right, okay. Well, I'll give it a go. If it works, thank you very much. If it doesn't, I won't hold it against you. Probably because I've done it wrong. <laughs> That wouldn't be unusual. Uh, see, this is this is where little little strokes of a brush trying to get paint where you want it. This is always the thing that always messes with me. It never really works quite the way I'd hoped. Okay, All right. So I'm cleaning that brush out. I am adding some water to the red, and I'm going to thin it down. Oh gosh, see, this is the problem. It's either too thick, too thin, getting it right, way harder than it needs to be if you ask me. What I should do is I should just hire somebody else to do the painting online. And then I can just relax, drink my water. Uh, certainly, um, certainly, I'm sure it would be far more entertaining for you. Oh, that's um, something I probably need to mention. I don't know that necessarily this is going to stay my channel. Um, I have been in discussions with somebody who's far more skilled than I am about potentially uh, forming a partnership, not with a network, but with my brother, who's more artistic than I am. This is not my miniature painting brother. This is my... Uh, movie making brother sort of yeah, you know, or video or I mean, he's got a lot of skill in that area and I don't which is really weird because I wound up doing this channel and his channel hasn't been doing so well but yeah that might happen uh, particularly if uh, the, the fiber goes in if the fiber goes in it'll probably definitely happen okay so that looks like just there I swear that must be some sort of ponytail uh, Jeff I have a hard time locating all of the correct miniatures for a campaign or for the my, of Minds of Fandelva. Well, you probably won't, so I wouldn't. I wouldn't really worry too much about it. Just, uh, just use the stand-in, unless of course that's really not where you're at and you want to be able to get it exactly right. And of course, ignore me and just keep looking. The problem is that they have runs of particular types of miniatures. And when the runs are active and they're new, it's easy to sort of get access to them. But once the, the, the line is starting to sort of get a bit old, it's much harder to access them. And so you'll find it harder to get, get the miniatures you want. I imagine that something like the Norfolk will be extremely difficult. Getting yourself a, a spectre, a medium sized sort of beholder creature, will be super hard as well. Okay. She's not going to stay still. She's going to roll. Just wipe that off. 45 minutes of ranting from me. Let's try to get the flesh on this time. The first time round it was a complete disaster. And uh, now I'm going to go with the flesh. The flesh. The flesh. Flesh it. Uh, Wrath of the Shadow Line gives you most of what you'll need for Lost Mine of Found Devil. Yes, yes, I have a video on that particular, I have two videos on that particular topic, as it happens. 
and that's all fine provided you can get access to that uh, D&D board game. If you can't get access to it, then it won't help you in the slightest. As many people have pointed out to me when they make comments on my videos, and I was like, yeah, well, I can't do anything about the fact that you were living in Siberia or Russia or South America and they don't ship it to your country. Romania, uh, where else? Italy. Oh, my, there's so many countries that struggle to get um, access to this sort of stuff. Totally feel for you, though. Uh, Roman, how's it going? Uh, this is my first time catching a live stream. Oh, but I've been a fan of at least six months. Nice. Thank you for watching. I just wanted to say I'm a big fan and you do very good work. You you by far have been the best I have found. I've heard people say that. I find that hard to imagine. I had I had to report a comment from somebody who um, insisted that I should stop making videos and that my channel was awful and I was like mm, well it's not the best channel but I don't know that I feel like I need to stop doing what I'm doing because you've told me that I do a, a bad job but apparently there are some people who feel differently about it um, anyway I haven't decided to um, actually take their feedback on I've decided to just ignore it and move on but he did pick a good time I was feeling so good about myself too. <sighs> okay. I don't know if you can necessarily see what I'm doing, but I am trying it. Look, it's working better. See, this is this is the thing. When you need a paint flash, do not paint the first coat black like I have done. Make sure you use a white color so that the flash will actually come up and actually be able to be seen. And you won't make a mess like I have done today many times. More than once and still making a mess it still just looks like great huge blobby sections of stuff and I'm still struggling to try to keep it like you can see my hands now I'll tell you what I'll take the miniature out of the way and you can just see my thumb there we go uh, <laughs> so that that's how difficult it is this, this is the problem of zooming it in I thought like oh somebody said Fred you need to zoom it in so we can see really up close and I was like oh okay I'll do that yeah no problems that's easy I can do that zoom in and then oh, it's really hard to hold in the scene but Roman I'm glad you are finding my channel useful in some way I was just warning everybody you might find a, a bit of my stuff is not so useful so I'm just 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 bear with me it's just me blowing off steam a lot of the uh, live streams I do at the end of the day I'm so tired I've been driving like uh, for a long time I'm exhausted and then I've been trying to sell stuff and do stock and and uh, on a job that I really don't like that much. And so when I get home, the first thing I want to do is I just want to collapse. But I don't. What I do is I set up and make sure my live stream's ready to go. And then I go have some food. And then I come back. And then I'm like, okay, let's uh, let's let's give this a go, shall we? And I live stream. And this is supposed to make sure that I finish my day. Not regretting my choice to become uh, an employee of Mighty Ten. That's basically it. Sounds terrible, I know, but I mean, it's just how it is. Okay, so I feel like this has worked a little bit better. It is starting to look like there's some solid flesh colour. Yes, it does look off. It's like it's a big blur of nothing. I think it's because of the white background. If I put it on a, a different background, it might have worked a little bit better, but it, clearly it hasn't. The paint is definitely going a lot better with the white, which is fortunate. Right now, the face just looks like a great huge mess. Looks the same at my end, just worse at your end. <laughs> Does that make any sense? I don't know that it does, truthfully. I don't think it does. Uh, yes, Darren, I'm going to try to ignore the trolls. Ro Ro Roman's spot on. You know, what I would really like to know is why do you guys find my channel so useful? I know a lot of people watch it. I'm actually really surprised. There's 12 people in here watching me paint like garbage. It's terrible. It looks awful. I'm trying really hard. What is it that I do 
that you guys find interesting. Because if I know, then I'll make sure I keep doing it and I'll do more of it. That's my view. Ha! Oh, um, almost forgot. I did. I have done some pre-recorded videos. Finally got round to Mordekainen's Tome of Foes. If you could call it that. Um, so I've got a review. It will get released at some point pretty shortly. I also did the Paladin's Divine Smite. Is it Aura of Courage? Something like that. There's a video on that. That'll come out some sometime because I've actually put the work into it and made it happen. All right, okay. So now that we've got the flesh going, which is nice, good news, that is, uh, let us move on to the next one. Uh, Darren, what did... Uh, what, what did Aaron beat you to? Beat you to something. You're, you're, oh, for the insight. Have you got any insight for me? I've been just talking, you've been listening about my work and um, the state of uh, customers as they bring toilet seats in. This is the kind of rich content you get on my channel. <clears throat> I mean, if I knew that was the case, I, I could just go full hog and um, talk about all the disgusting things that I do in my life. Uh, <laughs> it wouldn't be difficult. <laughs> I actually, no, I'm going to do the yellow next. I'm doing the yellow next because I, I feel like that platter doesn't want to be black anymore. So we're going to, we're going to paint it. With, <clears throat> I've painted myself. Where is it? Get the paint off me. Oh, man. I'm a klutz. I need like a tiny bit of yellow. I've managed to put enough, more than enough, into the container. And now it's all over my finger. So while you're waiting for me to clean myself off, because I obviously can't control paint, clearly I can't control it on myself. So how I can control it on a miniature, I do not know. Yes. All right. You will answer questions for people while painting. Yeah, I do. I will. That's what I do. I always have. I, I answer. It doesn't matter what my live stream is, I will answer people's questions. Provided they don't ask me a question I don't know the answer to. If they ask me a question I don't know the answer to, I usually sit down later on, have a think about it, try to figure out if I can make a video uh, that will answer the question or do a live stream once I've done a heap of homework or I've watched a whole lot of other people's videos and then decided that I need to do something else as well and I do a little bit of research and then I have a look, think about it again and decide what else I can add to it and then come back to it. All of this can take place while I'm driving to work. As it happens, oh, there we go. The paint is obviously not going to go on thickly on the edge but I feel like that's the hardest place to stick the paint so that's where we're going first. Paige, uh, many sadly I need to watch more of your videos. I paint miniatures and prep minis most every day so pretty busy. Don't, I don't paint them for profit just for fun. Well I only do it because it's just to kill time and so I relax. Um, Alea 13, Paige Alea 13 does really short videos on painting techniques, much better than I am. I highly recommend checking out her channel. I have subscribed to her, I watch her stuff. She doesn't put out stuff very often. Um, she used to be very, very consistent every week, but some things happened in her life, but she does really good stuff. One of the best painting channels, in my opinion, in terms of just the sheer usefulness of the stuff that she does. She does have a particular way of painting, um, so if you're if you're expecting you know something in particular, she still has a style to her in terms of what she does. So yeah, but I still recommend checking her out. She's good. Um, hubby in the game, fun for my hubby in the game. Aaron, can I get some insight then? How do you word your characters approaching a random encounter while traveling or camping? Okay, Aaron, you need to be you need to be a little bit. This is like the travel, the travel video. This is like the travel video I did and how to deal with travel. I don't do a lot. I always find my players switch off when I start speaking too much. And I actually need to do a video about dungeon masters who talk too much. You can tell I'm a dungeon master. 
because I'm talking way too much. Well, of course, there's nobody else talking in this particular live stream, all of you are typing, but it's still the same problem, and that dungeon masters just want to speak a lot. Give them broad brush strokes, you know, just the basics, and try to give them information that will force them to ask questions. This is the trick. This is what I was taught when I was doing my teacher's training, and that is to try to get the answers out of somebody else, because they probably have most of the answers already, and I'm dealing with adults rather than children, uh, and what you want to try to do is, I'm going to have to shift the angle on this guys, otherwise I can't see what I'm doing. What you want to do is you want to let, ask leading questions that result in them asking questions about their travel, if they want it. And if they don't, don't even worry about it, just leave it. Okay, all right, so the yellow went on. It looks terrible. In fact, it looks awful. Um, but I'm going to just bear with it and grab some silver. This is the thing I'm going to put on my tanker. Does that make sense? Aaron, did that answer your question? I don't know that I feel like it did. Um, yeah. Slice of Scott, I appreciate the fact that I could sit at your table other channels may be more flashy, but you keep things real and find great value in that. Hey, Slice of Scott, I think that's probably, yeah, I would I would say that's the case, yep. Um, I, uh, I got known in New Zealand as the guy, as the guy. This is when I was a mental person and decided to be an Adventurers League coordinator. And at the time when I started doing that, there was almost nobody who had run Dungeons & Dragons 5e, so I was like the only Dungeon Master in Auckland region. Oh my gosh, I was running three or four games every day for people I have never met before, who I was desperately trying to convince to be Dungeon Masters, of course. That's not always necessarily going to work, but um, I did try. <laughs> so so I'm, I'm glad you feel that way, Slice of Scott. Darren. Uh, but also how simple you explain things for new people. Your channel is really valuable because of some of us long time players take some things for granted. Well, yeah, well I I actually really want to see Dungeons and Dragons uh, bring on a much younger audience and player base because there's so many people that I know who've had kids and they can't play anymore. And if they had a version of the game which was a lot easier to play and literally was broken down into skill checks, ability checks, attack rolls, ditch these saving throws nonsense and that would be it. And you would just do what you want to do and then all of the complicated character mechanics would be a lot simpler. I really feel like that is where it lies and I, I've always wanted to have as many people playing the game as possible. Um, I have a few friends who feel like it, they would prefer it to be restricted to just those people capable of dealing with the complexity of Dungeons and Dragons and like the fact that Dungeons and Dragons is complex because it keeps out the riffraff. We want to keep out the riffraff, we don't want everybody playing Dungeons and Dragons because that would just be terrible. Terrible, we don't want everybody playing Dungeons and Dragons because if it's just common like everything else, then then uh, it's not it's not special for me anymore, and to go find something else. Obviously, we stopped playing chess because we got bored, so we decided Dungeons and Dragons was the answer, right? Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. All right. Where is it? So the cup is kind of silver. Uh, Paige, what do you got here? Oops, my PC just had a spaz in the back. <laughs> <laughs> the above was supposed to read, I haven't seen many of your vids, sadly. I need to watch more. That's <laughs> it's all right. No problems. Roman, I only recently started playing D&D, but I have found that your videos have explained the rules in a way that I can understand, and the videos are very informal. I like the personal touch you put in. Do you know, sometimes I listen to my voice, and I think, I can't stand my own voice, and how do you guys put up with it? But then again, I have to listen to myself all the time, whereas you guys can actually have a rest. If that makes sense. And I know it makes sense. I'm going to make sense to me. Anyway. And Paige, you're welcome for the tip. I don't know what the tip was, but that's good. Uh, I love watching the other painters and checking different styles. 
I don't have a style. Um, this isn't a style. This is this is me just trying desperately to get the paint onto the miniature in a way that uh, looks like I'm going to have to come back to this thing. I mean, it, obviously this this can't be the final attempt at her because right now she looks terrible and she could look a lot better and she should. I want her to look a lot better. Do you know, I'm putting the silver on these cups here on the tray and for the life of me, I can't even tell if the silver is there or not. That's, that's how bad. This is what we're talking about. This is what you're contending with. You're contending with somebody who's blind as a bat. Oh my. Um, trying to put silver on the end here. That looks like a bread, but I don't know. I'm going to just paint it silver for now. I'll come back to it later. It's way harder to get at than I thought it would be. That little tray is going to cause me a just monumental grief. Okay. Uh, Aaron, I know I have an encounter coming up. I have a description of the landmarks and what's on the road, but I feel like I'm screaming. Hey, there's an encounter here. Yeah, because as you describe stuff, as soon as you start opening your mouth and talking about something, your players will catch on and figure there's something going to happen here. I know what you're talking about now, I understand, okay? So what you're, what you're dealing with is this. You have to describe things that mean nothing. And it, all it takes is one sentence. You don't have to spend a lot of time. But as soon as you do that, you, you're using what I would call as the DM fear. Um, it's like presenting something that looks like it's important, but it's not. Okay? That's what you're trying to do. And I would suggest you try doing that a couple of times. It'll make a big difference for you. It certainly has in my games. Um, otherwise, they'll pick up on all of the stuff that's going on and realize when something's going to happen. I've encountered that problem more than a few few times. For those of you who are wondering, I am I am uh, all of my experiences based off actually having to deal with stuff, <laughs> and it's not it's not super fancy stuff, man. It's just because I've done so much of it. I had two years. Well, yeah, I'd say about two years, a year of just DMing more than most people do in four years, and. Um, took over my life quite a bit too and now it's jeez and it's all I do with my time is um, Dungeons and Dragons that's it real simple so I, I did answer the question Aaron oh man I was... and it's satisfactory yeah, it's weird eh because you don't realise it but a Dungeon Master is a little bit like a magician I like Johnny, um, Johnny Dem, uh, he had a channel, he's changed his name so many times now, and um, he's a magician, and that's really what a dungeon master is, they're a magician. What you do is you are distracting, presenting information that is fictitious while something else is taking place. That's not always the case, but it is often a great, a huge part of the whole process. And if you learn that technique, You'll be, you'll be right. Okay. That is just my opinion, by the way. It's not set in concrete. I might change my mind years from now. Ugh. I just put that paint on, it's rubbed off. Ugh, darn it. Okay. All right, I need a drink of water. Uh, Jeff, have you seen the channel Man Shorts? I just watched one where DM is a NPC who an angry customer and players are customer service employees. It is a very funny video. No, I haven't. Um, you could try chucking in the link, but YouTube will block it because they that's what they do. Um, right. I feel like I want to put more flesh on there. But it's just not working for me. I don't know what I'm going to do about that face. That face just like looks just awful. Yeah. This is what I want it to look like. This is what it looks like. Uh, to be fair, it's only been an hour. I've only been at it for an hour, so... 
Yeah. <laughs> uh, Darren, don't bore them with details, though, Aaron. It's it's a balance. You, na- you nailed it <laughs> eventually, and every group is a, a different level of... Yeah, I always go with the one sentence, and then I apply it so that... Um, as a general rule, they will have to ask more questions to get all the information they like. I've had a few times when that's come off badly and they've said, how come you didn't mention that? And I said, well, you didn't ask. And uh, to be fair, you didn't really give me time to say anything anyway. So that's sort of how it works for me. All right, we're gonna try putting some more green on here because I haven't done that for a little while. And it's a big space, it doesn't require a lot of coordination on my part. <laughs> <laughs> I know that sounds bad guys because um, it is but uh, it just yeah uh, what did I even bother picking up that brush it didn't work for me last time did I think it was going to work on um, this time round it's just chuck it over there forget about it it ain't working grab a different brush Fred <laughs> okay yeah, you can't see the link. No, no, YouTube will stop you from doing that. But what you can do is you can put the link into the comment section when the video gets published, and I can go check it out later. Ha ha! Now, I know YouTube will stop it, but see, I get to go through and have a look at what everybody um, posts, and when they s- submit a link, I can authorize those, whereas I can't authorize links with the, the live stream. YouTube controls that completely, as far as I know. And also probably safer that I do it that way, just just in case somebody's got a beef with me and decides that uh, live is the best time to um, ridicule and make me look like a, a moron. Well, I'm doing a pretty good job of it myself, so it doesn't really matter too much. But All right, Jeff, uh, called the Dungeons & Dragons customer service, service edition. <laughs> ah, okay, for sure. Oh, dear. Customer service edition. Love it. Love it. Sounds fun. Sounds like a lot of fun. Just too fun. All right. I'm going to paint her tush green with my brush. And this is something I can do successfully, I feel, because it's a big area and requires limited skill on my part. And we're, oh, what's the time now? Oh, it's about, it's time for food. I need to go have some food. We should just come back. I've done all the basic sort of coloring on here. It's just going to be all of the, the fiddly, tidy up, get the detail and sort of stuff. Uh, and I feel like if I do that, that's probably smarter than trying to just keep pursuing something that is... The paint always works better once it's dried. As soon as you start trying to paint, over paint, it's still not completely dry. There's always hassles, right? Uh, there we go. And this, okay, I'm just gonna thin down the green because the green is definitely getting too thick. And now it's too thin and I can see it because it's spreading. Well, at least it might go into some of the gaps and spaces that I was having trouble with before. Paint always works best when there's some paint to stick to it, right? Even if you're dealing with the same colour. And that is, yeah, it's actually not, uh, never too sure. I feel like these paints, they go on so thin just to, to stop you from losing the detail. My, my eyes are so bad, and my hand is so poor, that I can't tell necessarily if I've covered it, and then it, when it dries, it, it goes really, really thin sometimes, which I don't really find very helpful. Yeah, there we go. Oh, um, for those of you who are unaware, I did shoot a whole lot of videos on the Monk. I just haven't edited them. I, I um, And of course, to make it 
really complicated and ridiculous. I went backwards. I started with level 20 and I went back towards level 1, which means I haven't actually got to level 1, so I've done it back to front. Does that make sense? No. No, it doesn't make sense. Why would you do a series on the monk and film half of them starting with level 20? Because I felt like it. Because I didn't think of anything else. I was like, ooh, look at this. This mechanic's only two sentences. I'm sure I can explain that nice and quickly. Of course, I dragged it out and tried to make it a bit more entertaining. Uh, I don't know if I did, but uh, I tried. That was, that's what I've been doing with my time. That's what I do on my day off. I shoot videos. You know what I miss is I miss hanging out with my sister, uh, dressing up in the hats and all the other things. I don't miss her throwing things at my groin. That part I still dislike. But I do like the idea of dressing up and just acting the goat. Had a lot of fun doing that and I missed that. But I can't do it now because she's, she's working um, the days that I have off and I'm working the days she has off so it doesn't work out in the end. Does that make sense? All right, my brush has gone all splay. -y. I feel like I've got the green on. I feel like the basic colors are there, which just makes her look like a great huge hoary mess. So this, I'm hoping when I come back and try to paint her again, will look slightly like this. That's the hope. I don't know if that's going to work. And I feel like I've missed part of where the white is supposed to be. Yes, I have. It's because I can't see it. That's why. The apron is only part way around. It needs to be coming up further, just underneath the, the bustle. And then there's the brown thing around her waist that holds everything together. Clearly, um, I don't know what I'm looking at. But it's all right, because... Uh, one day I might. Okay. All right guys look I'm rambling now. I'm tired. I'm hungry I've been frustrated and uh, My miniature looks terrible. I do appreciate everybody who showed up to watch me make this horrible mess Which I will fix Later we will definitely fix her. I think what I will do is I will paint her in stages along with something else so that I have time for the paint to actually set. Particularly that face, which I feel like if I don't let that the, the paint on there settle a little bit, it's going to be a problem. Anyway, it's getting a bit warm here. Yeah. Mouths and eyes are just terrible. And I can I can just see myself right now. I'm looking at that miniature and that face and I'm thinking, oh, it's just going to be appallingly hard to, to do it. But anyway. I'm going to take off. I'll let you guys go. Uh, let's just remind ourselves about what Fred has done. Fred has got this. But Fred would like this. This is going to be this. Hopefully. Kind of. At some point. But obviously not today. Anyway. I'm done. Uh, if you like this video. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. You, can, you, can, you can like it if you want to. Share it if you want to. I don't know if you want to share it. Um, subscribe if you want to see more of this nonsense by all means hit the bell button to be notified when I go live and when I, uh, I publish a new video which I'm sure will happen at some point I'm pretty sure because I've got five of them waiting in the queue uh, if you want to support me watch more of my videos not necessarily this one but some other videos is always nice uh, <laughs> just rotate it and, and 90 degrees mate yeah 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 <laughs> that's right and rotate rotate it <laughs> so if you want to support my channel I don't do patreon but watching more of it, my videos works I do have affiliate links down below and there should be all of the materials that I used for today down in the description so you can check that out uh, if you wanted to talk to me now is the time in the chat but I'm about to go otherwise down in the comment section and uh, yeah let me know what you think um, I'm sure you can tell me that you can do better I know you can uh, remember I'm not very good at this sort of thing. I will certainly get better at it. Um, it will look it will look better over time, just not just yet. And hey, till next time, keep rolling those twenties.